I have already discussed how to calculate the load carried by a column in a building frame. In this lecture, I am going to discuss how to calculate the load carrying capacity of a column in a structure. This will help us to find out if the given size of a column, grade of concrete and the quantity of steel provided would satisfy the load carrying capacity of the column. In simple words, the load carrying capacity of a column shall always be greater than the actual load carried by the column. It depends on the cross-sectional area, grade of concrete, grade of steel and the area of steel provided. To calculate the load carrying capacity, we can use the formula derived from IS 456-2000 clause 39.3 which is given by PU equal to 0.4 FCK AC plus 0.67 FY ASC where PU is the ultimate actual load carrying capacity of the column, FCK is the characteristic compressive strength of concrete. AC is the area of concrete, FY is the grade of steel, ASC is the area of longitudinal reinforcement. For illustration, let's calculate the load carrying capacity of a column having a size of 300 into 450 mm provided with 6 number of 16 mm dia bars, use M25 grade of concrete and FE415 steel. So we have the given data, width of column 300 mm, depth of column 450 mm, FCK is 25 Newton per mm square, FI is 415, number of steel bars is 6, dia of longitudinal bar is 16 mm, hence the gross cross sectional area will be equal to width of column into depth of column that is 300 into 450 mm which will be equal to 135,000 mm square. Area of steel will be equal to area of 1 bar into number of bars. Area of 1 bar is pi by 4 d square where d is the diameter of the longitudinal bar that is 16 mm. On substituting these values, ASC will be equal to 1206.3 mm square. Area of concrete will be equal to gross cross sectional area minus area of steel. Gross cross sectional area is already calculated as 135,000 mm square and area of steel is 1206.3. On substituting these values, area of concrete that is AC will be equal to 133793.7 mm square. Substituting all these values in equation first, we get PU equal to 0.4 FCK that is 25 into AC that is area of concrete which is already calculated as 133793.7 plus 0.67 FY ASC where FY is 415 and ASC is calculated as 1206.3 on simplifying further PU will be equal to 1673348.7 Newton. To get this result in kilonewton, we need to multiply it by 10 raised power minus 3. Hence, PU will be equal to 1673348.7 into 10 raised power minus 3, which will be equal to 1673.3 kilonewton, which is greater than 1200 kilonewton, that is the actual load carried by the column, hence satisfying the criteria. Now let's check for the minimum reinforcement value. The percentage of steel will be equal to area of steel upon cross sectional area of the column into 100. Area of steel is 1206.3 and cross sectional area is 135,000 mm square. On simplifying further, the percentage of steel will be 0.89% which is greater than the minimum percentage of steel required for a column that is 0.8% hence satisfying the criteria. Let me introduce you to the contents and courses available in our app. If you want to master the structural design with practical real life project exposure, then you can check out the complete building design combo course on eTabs and SAFE, wherein you will get to work on 6 separate models in eTabs with complete foundation design in SAFE. And the course is available in both Hindi and English. Talking about the second course, which is on quantity surveying essential training, the skills covered in this course will be site engineering, drawing reading, estimation and costing, bar bending schedule, bill of quantity, material statement, work order, and Revit basics. The beauty of this course is that you will be provided with the manual calculation notes of 300 pages, the Excel sheet calculation files explained in video lectures, drawings in PDFs and AutoCAD format, and Revit architecture and structure model. The course is available in Hindi only. This course is a complete learning package that contains almost all the topics that you will ever need to work with this software. The course is designed for beginners as well as advanced users. The course language will be Hindi and Urdu. 
In the Revit training course, you will be explained every concept related to the Revit civil architecture and also most of the structural portion will be included. This course is designed for beginners and professionals and you don't need to have a previous experience with this software. The language of this course is Hindi and Urdu. So hurry up and use our coupon code to get a flat discount of 200 on any purchased course from our platform. This coupon is available for first 20 enrollments only, out of which 10 enrollments have already been made. So hurry up before the offer goes off air. The link will be provided in the description box of this video.